about the gum? This, you guys, is like a craving buster. So when you're craving sweets, pop one of these bad boys in there and uh, you'll be good to go. <laughs> Since Congo is here in San Diego with me, he's gonna follow me to the grocery store. We're gonna do a grocery haul video. For me, this is super empty. So, these are probably old, I should maybe toss them. And it's time to go totally like A to Z grocery shopping. So you're gonna come with me, see what we buy. Um, this How long is... were you in uh, South Africa for? Well, I was gone for a total of three weeks, so. Ding. Oh, you didn't get anything? No, so I'm waiting to go grocery shopping so I can bring you guys along. And um, as you guys know, I'm cutting, so this is gonna be like a typical grocery haul for me when I cut. So let's go. What's your favorite cookie? Oreos? Well, or chocolate chip. I used like to like homemade, chips ahoy's. Like pre-made cookies yeah. or Oreos. Oh really? Pre-made. But if you were to make a cookie, homemade chocolate chip. Homemade chocolate chip. Oh. Alright you guys, we are back from the grocery store. And my wallet is hurting a little bit because I had to buy literally everything. But it's okay because now I get to show you everything that I eat when I'm cutting. So we're just going to go through it. I have, as you guys know, I do macros. So I track my macros throughout the day. So like I allow for some sweet treats like th this um, because I fit it into my macronutrients. And that's how I can eat things like this without messing up my diet. You must stick to portions and make sure you don't go crazy when you eat stuff like this because... You might only be able to fit like half a cup, but then pretty soon you've eaten the whole pint and then that's when it would be bad. But if you have good um, self-control, you can definitely get away with stuff like this. So I saw like all these lower cal calorie ice creams and I'm like, wouldn't it be fun to do a taste test with all of them and see which one is the best one? So that video should be coming to you guys soon. It's my duty as a YouTuber to do things like this for you guys so that you can buy the best ice cream ever. Um, so we got Halo Top uh, Chocolate Chip Cookie Dough. This new one, which I haven't seen yet, it's called Scandalous. Also Chocolate Chip Cookie Dough, so that way we can compare. And then I bought this. <clears throat> this. <laughs> Briars actually made a lower calorie ice cream. And the mint chip is my favorite ice cream flavor, so I was really excited to see that. And then, of course, we have Ben & Jerry's Half-Baked Froyo. Um, obviously this one is a little bit worse for you. I think the, the serving size is just, oh my God, the serving size is the same. So this is actually really comparable to this, to these other ice creams. So it'll be interesting to see which one is the best one. So coming soon to my channel, taste test for these guys. Next we have some uh, creamy peanut butter. Peanut butter is literally my weakness. Oh my God, I could eat this whole thing every day. Um, that's a staple for me. We got some egg whites, which, as Weston says, is the most bioavailable form of protein ever. Um, so lots of egg whites. Uh, we got some pre-chopped onions because your girl cannot chop onions to save her life. So this is definitely a must for me. I just cry and it's horrible. Um, I got some zucchini. Now zucchini is one of the lowest carb vegetables out there. Like this whole entire thing is probably only like three grams of carbs or less. Like it's so, so low carb and it's very voluminous. It's one of the most voluminous um, vegetables. So you can put it in your breakfast. You can make stir fries with it. So it's just a really good thing to eat when you're on a diet, when you're cutting. So I got some zucchini. We have some, uh, what are these called? Grape, grape tomatoes, cherry tomatoes. 
uh, little mini tomatoes. These are both kind of just for snacking because I like to eat throughout the day. So if I'm feeling like snacking on something, I'll do like carrots or tomatoes um, just to kind of like hold me over to my next meal. Um, then I have this pre-made salad mixture. Usually I won't eat the dressing in this. I'll make my own dressing because the dressing can be pretty fatty. But the mix itself is pretty good um, and it's just easy and fun. I have some spinach, which I like to cook and put into my egg whites in the morning. Mainly that's what I use this for. And you'll, you'll be surprised how fast you'll go through a bag of spinach. And it's amazing for micronutrients also. So um, then we have some turkey bacon because as you guys know, I'm starting to eat meat again. So I'm definitely getting my protein from more things than just eggs, like how I used to only get it from eggs when I was a vegetarian. So turkey bacon, um, it's pretty high in sodium though, so I don't go too overboard on this. I have some hash browns. These are, these are basically just shredded potatoes in bags. Um, so I'll cook these up for breakfast. It's like my favorite carb to eat for breakfast. And then I have some 99% fat-free lean ground turkey breast. Limitless options for this bad boy. I got two of them. One will, will go in the freezer and one will go in my fridge for later. I have some very lean chicken breast, which is pre-cut because Again, I don't like to touch this. I don't like to touch it. It's gross and weird. Um, so if it's like pre-cut and trimmed, I love. Um, then I have a carton of eggs. And we have some tortilla chips. So I'm definitely gonna try to fit some into my macros. Eventually I have some um, bell peppers. These are also great for snacking, but I do like to cook them into my other food also. Some bananas, which I will eat mainly before I train. Uh, usually I'll do like a half a banana with some peanut butter, which is a great pre-workout snack. Or as you guys know, I'll do a Pop-Tart <laughs> if I can fit it in my macros, if I can um, afford the macros. See, Congo, it's only 35 grams for a one piece tree. I thought it was, you thought okay. it was 70. Yeah, it's I thought it was 70. 70. 70 for two, yeah. Right. So one, this is, <laughs> honestly, before you train, you just want like quick, digesting fast like sugars um, to power you through your workout. So that's the only time I'd eat a Pop-Tart is right before I did a crazy intense workout. Like and why deadlifts. wouldn't you eat like a Quest Bar or wouldn't anything a, high in fiber? Right, I wouldn't eat a Quest Bar or anything like that because the fiber is going to take a long time to digest through your system. It's not going to burn quickly. Um, you're not going to be able to use the energy for your workout. So that's why like, like um, simple sugars are good to eat before you train. And they're a lot more fun to eat. <laughs> but if you're trying to be like really good, this is better for you, obviously. Clean, natural sugars, fake sugars. So that's that. Also got some chocolate rice cakes and some caramel rice cakes just to snack on and make things. I think I'm going to have some before I go play volleyball, actually. Um, I got some apples, which I love. They're actually pretty low carb, too, if you measure them out and stuff. Um, these are just, uh, I actually bought these for Weston because they're his favorite. And I've never tried them, so definitely going to try to fit these in my macros, maybe on top of one of these ice creams, like a little top. They're really good, actually. Good. It's better than, well, I like it better than Cinnamon Toast Crunch. No. Yeah. Cinnamon Toast Crunch is my favorite. <laughs> it's my all-time favorite, so. Well, if I'm on a diet, I'd rather that or Cinnamon Toast Crunch, because Cinnamon okay. Toast Crunch has a three grams of fat. You guys heard per it here. Serving. Yeah, this is really, it's no, one gram. Oh, yeah, one gram. Cinnamon toast so has three. maybe I should do taste test with this and the cinnamon toast crunch. <laughs> yeah, so we'll see. I never tried it before. Um, next, I have some non-fat cottage cheese. This is also a staple for me when I'm cutting. Sorry, uh, because it's just basically pure protein, a little bit of carbs, zero fat, and it's it's nice to eat if you're tired of eating like meat and eggs. This is a good source of protein. I like to put berries on here, some peanut butter. It's pretty good. I like to make it sweet kind of thing uh, with cinnamon and stuff. Then we have some avocados, some good healthy fats. Usually I'll eat these uh, for breakfast with my eggs or I'll make some guacamole out of them and eat them with the chips. Got some limes for other things. I got a uh, cucumber, also good for snacking on. Cut this up, put some balsamic vinegar and some salt and pepper and it's like bomb. Um, then this is another staple for cutting. This uh, asparagus acts as a natural diuretic, so it's great for cutting, it's great for getting everything moving through you, 
Um, and it's also like super low carb. Like this entire bunch of asparagus is probably under like 10 grams of carbs or something, something crazy. So you can eat a grip of these and be really full and satisfied and not hungry. Um, it's very voluminous. <clears throat> Some sweet potatoes. Uh, also a great complex carb to eat. Um, my favorite way to eat a sweet potato is with peanut butter and cinnamon. <laughs> So good, you guys. If you haven't tried it, try that. Um, then we have my creamer, which I love. Can't live without this creamer <laughs> in my coffee every morning. It's so good. My guilty pleasure. Some reduced sugar ketchup and cinnamon. Now this bread, you guys, little diet hack. This bread is the lowest carb bread that I've ever had before. How many carbs is it? For two slices, it's 15 carbs. 15, that's it? For two slices. I'm used to one slice being right? 15 exactly. carbs. Exactly, yeah. so you can eat twice as much. Oops. There you go. There's that, okay. So you can eat twice as much of this bread than a normal piece of like, bread. It's super light, you kind of feel like you're eating air, but if you toast it, it's pretty good. Um, and then, you guys, this is like a godsend for people who are dieting. It tastes so good. It's super carbonated. It's like gives you that satisfying carbonation um, when you're craving it. Zero calories, water, caffeine, uh, caffeine free. So that's it. That's all I bought today. That's it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this helps you with your um, your nutrition, like figuring out what to buy when you're dieting and stuff like that. If you guys like this video, please comment below. Give me your feedback. I'd love to hear from you. And let me know what other videos you want to see on my channel. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you next Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Make sure to subscribe to see more. Take care.